Do you want to turbocharge your lawn feeding this summer to get an amazing lawn? What about you? I'm Robbie from Premier Lawns. Today's video, I'm going to show you some professional level lawn care tips. We're going to break it all down. Let's go. Welcome back. Today's video is all about the products we use and the processes we do. Before we start into that, I have some important stuff to do. So our first step, just in all this here, we're going to vertically cut the lawn. Now, this has been discussed quite a bit recently in the channel. If you're vertically cutting your lawn, you really want to do it with a box on. But I did a previous video in the past about why I actually scarify stroke lightly vertically cut with no box on. So I'll leave a link to that video in the video description if you want to go and watch that after this here one here. We're taking very very little you can see that we're taking very very little out of the lawn we just want to try and stop the weed grasses from properly getting a grip in the lawn we're not taking too much out at all today just a real light scar face so vertical cut you can see some of the seed heads and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this because it helps lift those up so as whenever we're on the moor over them we're going to get a good nice clean cut on them you can see looking across the lawn how little we actually took out and just to have a quick look at some of this most of the lawn didn't really have too much to come out which is good means we're staying on top of the thatch and the weed grasses if you're enjoying this video on how to get an amazing lawn make sure to smash that like button because it really helps me out and subscribe for more videos like this let's get on with it i'm going to show you something today that i don't usually talk about i'm going to show you the fertilizer that i'm going to be putting on the lawn just want to talk about a few different things and why we use different products unfortunately i don't have any affiliated links for you Okay, something I'm going to talk about. Now, as you've seen, we've previously cut the lawn there with the Milwaukee mower. It's sitting at 30 mil. This lawn mower sit at 25 mil. There's not loads of grass in that grass box. The grass, this lawn hasn't been cut in 10 days. Generally, if I had left this lawn for 10 days, the grass box would have been full. We've been using a product called a, a plant growth regulator. And what that does is it pushes the, the growth back down into the plant it inhibits the gibbularic acid inside your plant and it makes your lawn thicker, it can make your lawn greener and it encourages root growth. It's, it's, now it's more of a professional product but I'll leave a link to the video description where we did a video about that. Now for anybody interested in using it, I'm going to show you a trick today to make sure that you get your rates done properly. Let's get on with cutting the grass. So this bit of glass, it's a very expensive magnifying glass and it's called a prism gauge. It's used for measuring the height of cut on the lawns. I brought it out to show you, we had the Milwaukee mower, it was cut at 30 mil and we have the John Deere and it's cut at 25. So I'm just gonna show you the difference in the heights. Let's go into that now. The lawn mower is set at 25 mil and whenever you look at the prism gauge, the grass is just slightly shorter than actually the 25 mil, because there's also the weight of the lawnmower pushing it down. And for American viewers, I know you guys don't like centimeters, so you can hopefully see the inches height there. Anything that's just above the 30 mil, if you can see that. And then for American viewers, we'll bring it over the inches. We have this bit of grass here, 
this grass here, this is the bit that was cut with the Milwaukee more at 30 mil. And then over the far side, you've seen that it was being cut at 25 mil. Don't often talk about professional products, however, decide to shake things up a bit this year. We've started talking about the plant growth regulator. I'm gonna say that if you're gonna be using plant growth regulator, get yourself a little syringe off eBay. These, these are really good for just measuring it because you can find drop of this goes quite far and if you put it on too much, it can burn the lawn and you do have to be quite accurate with it. I'd use a wee syringe to put it on with. Also be throwing on some nitrogen seaweed. And then I'm also gonna put on a granular fertilizer today. So whenever you put on a plant growth regulator, there's a chance that you're gonna burn your lawn. It burns your lawn a wee bit, so you need to put on a liquid fertilizer with it. I'm gonna have a quick talk about seaweed. Now, a lot of people are putting seaweed on their lawns and saying, oh, it's making my lawn lovely and green. Seaweed's not for that. It's meant to be just for making your soil. It improves your soil. I'm gonna get some color with this stuff because it does contain iron. But generally, we use seaweed in the business because it sweetens the soil, but it also turbocharges nitrogen without getting too technical about it. It makes the nitrogen in your lawn work a lot better whenever you use seaweed. But if you're going to be using seaweed, make sure you pick a good one because you can, you can get a lot, of, a lot of manufacturers make a product with seaweed and it contains very, very little seaweed in it. So usually cold press is the best way to go, in my opinion, with seaweed. Let's get on with it. Keep the pets in the house whenever you're putting on products, folks. We've got a little bit of seaweed in there, a little bit of iron, good drop of nitrogen and the plant growth regulator. But just to have a quick talk about the fertilizer that I'm going to be putting on the lawn. We're going to be using ProTurf 15515. The reason I use this, the, the K in that, the 15, this number here, that's going to give me a bit of protection. I do expect to see some disease in the lawn, red thread, whenever it turns wet. You're always going to get some. I'm hoping that gives me a bit of protection and helps it grow back. The 15% nitrogen, it is a, a product, is a slow release. It takes around eight weeks to break down. So it's not that high a number of nitrogen. If, if that was a normal controlled release fertilizer, and if it was 15%, that would be way too much. But whenever you're using controlled release fertilizers, controlled release fertilizers take a certain amount of time to break down, then 15 isn't a very high number. It's going to take between eight to 10 weeks for that product to break down. So I'm going to get a lovely uniform color over that period of time. We've also got the magnesium and the calcium. Again, magnesium, it's a bit like iron. It makes the plant nice and green. Now, if you're watching this video, I think you're gonna enjoy this video, so watch this video next. <laughs> 